Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm a star. The message I heard is what I need you to do. Help me get us. The scripture comes from 2 Chronicles 10 and 5. Rehoboam answered, come back to me in three days. So the people went away. Then King Rehoboam consulted the elders who had served his father Solomon during his lifetime. How would you advise me to answer these people, he asked. They replied, if you will be kind to these people and please them and give them a favorable answer, they will always be your servants. So God said, when you go out, no matter what the circumstance is, no matter what the situation is, regardless if you are saying hello or if you're giving a goodbye, always be kind. Don't just be nasty just for the sake of being nasty. Don't be mean for the sake of being mean, okay? Don't walk around with this mindset of God got me on a mission and because God got me on a mission, he gonna save me every time, all the time. Because if you is deliberately being nasty to people and you the one that's the problem and you causing the problems on purpose, you cannot expect that God is not gonna allow somebody to go upside your head one time. You cannot just assume that God is not going to just let it slide. And it, you know what I'm saying? It's not to say that God is not going to get the person for, for doing nothing, doing you nothing. But I just feel like at the same time, you cannot be the type of person where you, like, you know what I'm saying? Your nose is so far up in the air and you think that you're so perfect and you could do no wrong. That, you know what I'm saying? You're talking down on somebody, you're looking down on somebody and you're talking to the wrong one. You're saying very, you know what I'm saying? God said, when you're going out into this world, doing your thing, living your your life baby watch how you talk to people you will find yourself having far less problems when you just you know what i'm saying treat people how you want to be treated now if somebody react differently that's a different story but you know what i'm saying if somebody don't want to say hi back, oh, well, it is what it is. That's their problem. I just feel like when it comes down to it, don't be the kind of person where you just, you know what I'm saying, going around being mean and nasty to people. Because when you go around being mean to other people, just dry just for no reason, you, that's how you bring bad energy onto yourself. And I just feel like this is for somebody. I just feel like you need to um, just don't do that. As God send you places. You know what I'm saying? If you're the kind of person you're you're you sit you go to places or maybe God is moving you. Um, if God is moving you, regardless if it is a new neighborhood, a new city, a new house, um, God said that as you are going about, be kind, be friendly. And I feel like this is a pep talk for somebody. <laughs> and you're so used to being mean. God said, stop being mean, be kind be friendly make friends possibly you know what i'm saying but don't be uh you know what i'm saying don't be because sometimes i i what i have learned as somebody that is shy that is introverted a lot of times people assume when you are well dressed and you know what i'm saying well kept and on top of that shy and introverted people assume that you are mean, okay, and bougie. That's what they assume. It is. That's automatically what they assume. They assume that you mean and that you bougie and you stuck up. And I just feel like God is saying um, to avoid that, to avoid all that energy, to avoid all that jazz. When you go out, be kind, be nice, um, friendly even. And that may be saying a lot to some of you. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like God is saying this is somebody that you're you're like a oh, girl on oh, the Hunger Games movie, Katniss. You know, you just, you just be, like pulling teeth trying to get you to. But God, I, I just feel like God is saying, come on now. Come on now. Take one for the team. I just feel like this is this is for not only is it a team effort for because you're on God's team. But it is also for your best, uh, you know, not only quality of life, but your well-being 
and mental state. You know what I'm saying? It's much better to be cool with everybody than to be beefing with everybody. And that's just what it is. Anyways, that's the message. Even though, you know, it's always going to be that one. You know what I'm saying? And it may. It may just very well be that one. It may even be that two. But go ahead and say, keep it down. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's the message. It'll, it'll be easier for them to take, uh, find people to go against you if you already beefing with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Versus if you don't have you, you don't have no problems with nobody. And you're pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that's what it is. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.